There's an ancient elven tome that consists of some of the darkest, most powerful magic in all of Gilinor. Blight magic, as they call it, is a dark, ancient form of magic that can wither down the most powerful beings, almost like kryptonite to the anima mundi. One ancient being in particular, Solak, has a history with Erethor in his attempt to take over the Guardian of the Grove. Despite his failed attempt, Erethor left a remnant of himself within Solak's mind, withering him down over thousands of years. After our previous encounter with freeing Solak in our journey to ranged expertise, we liberated Solak's mind of Erethor's control to bring peace to the Grove once again. But now it's time to revisit our old friend. We've had our hands on the aforementioned ancient tome for quite some time now, but it wasn't until the fractured staff of Armadil that we understood just how much power this single book contains within its pages. I'm Rayo, and welcome back to Maniacal Magician. Before we get started, make sure to check the video description for the series playlist, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of new episode releases. Erethor's Grimoire is a pocket slot item that provides a 12% crit chance bonus and increases your max critical hit to 15k, which stacks with other buffs like Smoke Cloud. The primary attraction to this item is the giant crit chance boost. If you haven't seen my previous videos of the series, the FSOA special attack will send out an auto attack for every critical strike that you do, which in short can result in massive damage output, and even healing. I go over all of this in my previous two Maniacal Magician episodes, where I obtain the FSOA, as well as go over the FSOA rotation, so make sure to check those out to fully understand the benefit of this pocket slot item. So why are we focused on Solak today? Well, despite dropping the Grimoire itself, he also is guaranteed to drop a Grimoire page for every successful kill, which applies 45 minutes of Grimoire uptime, and as an added bonus, fighting Solak allows you to use the Grimoire without draining charge. He is a group boss, although he was recently scaled to offer a soloable version of the encounter. Is this the most efficient way to fight Solak? Not exactly, but this is a challenge that allows us to self-replenish our supply of grimoire pages, which is the most important item to upkeep for the magic combat style, aside from runes of course. Despite all that, I want to challenge myself. I feel as though I've hit a bit of a wall with magic, and I want to push myself to become a better PVMer overall. So why not do it on a boss that's not only a worthy challenge, but also one that can supply us for the future. So before we actually get into Solak, I wanted to just quickly mention the upgrades that I've gotten since the FSOA. I have since upgraded to full Elite Tectonic, I ended up getting the top and bottoms last week, and just the other day I ended up getting the Elite Tectonic Mask. So it feels good to have the tier 92 power gear just off the list now. I still need the tier 92 dual wield weapon set as well as full Crit Bloom and Magma Tempest. So I still have quite a ways to go monetarily for the upgrades, but we're making quite a bit of progress, so I'm very excited about that. Now moving on into our setup for Solak, we have pretty much all the same gear that you've seen in any of my previous episodes where it's just now the tier 92 elite tectonic. Weapon set still the same, obviously FSOA, EOFs are still the same, Grimoire of course. The only thing that ever really varies within my setups would be my inventory and in this case I am bringing a power burst of vitality that way I can sustain the bomb in phase one as well as the combat dummy so I can build up to do sunshine tsunami as well as an FSOA spec for the final 200k burst for Solak. Normally I would bring mines if I were doing this in a group because you can use mines to burst down the volatile rootlings during phase one but those don't work in solo scaled instances. I also could bring a higher dosage of adrenaline renewals for longer duration encounters but four doses has served me well enough so maybe I'll consider it going forward but this works just fine for now and the blessed flask I'm pretty sure you could do this with another setup maybe just a super restore or any other sort of potion but the blessed flask is nice in case I take a long time to get things done and knowing me it'll take a long time to get things done so this is my setup that we're going with and let's see how we fare you're ding dong <laughs> classic Classic ding dong. Oh my, you're joking. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be tough. Go. You're joking, dude. That was lame. What the frick, bro? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, so 800k is the, is the thing. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to actually finish. What? All right, well, Frick. unfortunately, 
it was a plank. At this point, I was starting to get extremely tilted. There are a few mechanics within the Solak fight that are inconsistent. For instance, there's an auto attack within phase 1 around the time before Solak increases his attack speed, whereas auto attacks temporarily become misaligned with his auto attack animation. Missing a prayer flick here can easily hit you for 4000 damage, and this even happens during phase 3 when charging pads. Although things like this shouldn't exist in my opinion and are incredibly frustrating, at the very least it's consistently inconsistent, meaning that it happens at the same point in every single attempt, making it predictable. I had a choice to let the slightly broken mechanics of the fight get to me, or to push through it and just learn it. Seeing as my goal here is to become better, I had to give up the excuses and learn to accept the imperfections, which not only improved my outlook, but also granted me much more success. Marathel, the betrayer! You'd lead these mortals against me? You call me the betrayer? After what you did to our family? No! I was going so good. I didn't know that was going to hit me. I saw the bomb and everything. That was going so freaking good, bro. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh, dude. Heck yes. Oh, freaking heck yeah, bro. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. No! Oh, frick. No, dude, I was, oh, I was doing so good. I didn't expect him to go psh, 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 to me real quick. That was fast. All right, make sure I am on insight fear. Boom, boom. Oof, no. Please crit, baby. Please crit, baby. Okay, no, not this time, that's fine. No, 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 ah, frick, dude. I could have sworn. Uh, I probably target cycled after. Please be beneficial. Please be good. Please be in my favor. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, dude. That's fine. We're getting Omnid on Solak. Like a classic weenie. Uh, I'm going to have to like make no mistakes. Oh, no. Okay, I signed. I'll take it. I'll take it, dude. Ah! Frick, dude! Oh, I didn't know what to do! Oh, no! <laughs> SMH, dude. That's something I need to get better, is not throwing my switches right there, because that is just killing my damage. I waste like two or three seconds, like, fumbling my switches whenever I do disruption, or, yeah, disruption shield swap. It's a little too late on cleansing there. I think it'll be fine either way. Yeah, we'll be okay. Uh, Actually, we won't. Use your skills, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. What? Oh, I was in a weird wonky spot. Ah, oh, oh, dang it, dude. Starting to get it. Starting to get it. I'm starting to notice where, like, where I'm messing up, too, so. Dang it. I was a little scuffed, so. Redemption, you got this again. Hey, thank you, Pat. I appreciate the encouragement. Oh, I just realized my Grim wasn't even on, dude. Whoa. Okay, and then I died because I was so surprised at my dumminess. That was silly. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm surprised I did that well with damage, dude. Frick, dude. Mixing up all my keybinds. Alright, dude. This could potentially be it. Okay, I just gotta... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, come on. Alright. Good luck, us. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, freaking yes, dude. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. That took freaking forever. For freaking ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so amped. Holy crap. Very freaking worth it, bro. Dude, I do that every single time. Oh my gosh, I trigger the crap out of myself, dude. Why do I always do that? I overcomplicate this game for no reason. Like, I totally blip my rotation. To give some understanding, if I didn't mess up, I could get in like two or three more ABS specs by the time I fix whatever I'm doing. Assuming that I crit and get the adrenaline, but it's just... <laughs> Golly, I piss myself off so much. Alright, guys. Come on. Kame. Here. Oh gosh, I may have already botched this. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on. Kame. 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 Come on. Please. Oh, bless, dude. <laughs> Holy frick, bro. Okay, that's a pretty big improvement from my first one. That's like almost, that's a minute and a half faster than my first solo mage kill. Oh my gosh, dude. What? Oh my gosh, dude. The delayed hit drives me insane. <laughs> what in the world? That is so stupid. Why does that exist? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. Bless me. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Why didn't I eat? Hello? Oh my gosh, dude. Dying to that is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb, dude. World. Hello? Dude, use your freaking... Like, hello? What in the world, <laughs> dude? Ah, uh, this is getting on my nerves, bro. I feel like I clicked on my potion flask like 12 times, bro. Dude, I don't think I could have been any closer. <laughs> I mean, obviously I could have been a little bit closer on the health on the elf, but dude, health on the elf. Dude, I can't stop. I just can't stop. Health, does he like gradually take more damage? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I was not expecting that. Bro, what? Oh, freaking poison, dude. No. <laughs> Oh, that's so, <laughs> that's so, I was like, how is it dying? How is it dying? Yeah, I thought that was going to be the run as well, dude. I, <laughs> I did not consider poison damage. Come on, dude. Do your, do your damage. Do your damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't critting at all, dude. I should have shattered. I didn't think to shatter there, but holy frick. We got the second kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a long fight because I screwed up like 10,000 times. And that wraps up today's episode. I'm really excited to finally have gotten my first few Solak magic kills. This may seem like a small feat for some players, but this is pretty huge for me. Group bosses are quite intimidating. And even though Solak is scalable for solo, it's still a very in-depth encounter with lots of steps along the way. Just being able to complete that once is a huge feat. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell, and follow me over on Twitch and join my Discord. I've also recently rejoined Twitter, so make sure to follow me over there as well if you have a Twitter, and all links to these are provided in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Rayo, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.